Hey makeup loves and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you for clicking on this video. So today it's going to be a fun video because I'm testing out a new concealer you guys. And guess what? It is drugstore. You see this face? This flawless face? Can you guess? Can you guess? Obviously by the title you already know. We're going to be testing out the Mew Makeup Revolution concealer. So if you're interested and want to know... I did a review, a all day test wear. So if you're interested, what are my thoughts? Then go ahead, subscribe, like, and comment. And let's get started with this concealer review. Yes, I know we're looking a little crazy at this point. I only have my foundation. So I did put on my Dosa Color and my Kat Von D um, together. So I'll leave everything down below because we're going to be testing out the new Revolution Conceal and Define. Conceal and Define Infinite Longwear Concealer today. So I picked up two, two shades. When I saw it at Ulta, I was kind of intrigued. As I, I did like the hydrating, I just haven't played with it a lot. The matte one, it just didn't work out for me when I saw this. Um, I got it in two shades, you guys, because I wasn't sure. I got it in C3 and C7 you guys can see i got it in c3 and c7 fully you guys can see i'm gonna read the claims on this concealer it is ten dollars they have it at ulta that's where i got it and they have about 16 shades this is a 16 hour wear it's 20 percent more pigment it's 20 percent more coverage it's suitable for all skin types it's crease proof cakeless breathable for a natural skin finish you can contour you can cover your blemishes, target concealing areas that you want to conceal. So let me go ahead and swatch. I'm swatching C7. This is what it looks like. Dofa applicator, same like the Tarte, same like their previous concealer. So let's go ahead and swatch that one. Good night. And let me swatch C3, you guys. So again, C7, C3, I feel like I'm probably going to like, I'm going to try this one and I'm going to, I'm going to mix them together because I do like a bright under eye, but it might be too light and this one is a little too dark. So I'm going to try both of them. Okay, I'm going to start with one eye so that you guys can see the difference. So I'm going to start with my right eye, which is your left. Let me get closer. This is what my under eyes look like. So I'm going to go ahead and dot C7, I'm gonna do one, two, and then I'm gonna go with C3 right here. Okay, it has your typical smell, it has like your typical concealer. And I'm gonna go, of course, with my Juno and Co. Spine. Let's go ahead and get started. Right off the bat, it is pigmented. I can see that. Whoa. So I'm just going to go in. Then we'll go ahead and contour. We'll go ahead and go with all of the products, all of the rest of the makeup products to see how well it blends. And I'm taking it down. I'm taking it up as well. I mean, it's blending well, but we'll see. Like if it's, I feel like if it's going to be a good product, we're going to test it out with the loose setting powder because that's when you know if it's going to crease, it's going to crack, it's going to make it look oily. But you guys, oh. wow, I mean, let me take it in slow motion so you guys can see the difference.
to test it out because you guys know I have I have very dry under eyes so again I'm gonna do the same method apply C7 here here and then C3 you guys know I have dry under eyes so we'll see how it actually wears with my loose setting powder but so far get closer so you guys can see Let me see if I, let me kind of turn down my, so you guys can see, there we go. Try the other eye. And again, guys, I usually color correct. I apply my color pop, my hydrating to color correct. And then I apply my font, my concealer. But I am not color correcting at all, and I think I found my concealer that I don't need to color correct, you guys. It blended pretty, pretty well, you guys. A little goes a long way. And it dries super, super matte, you guys. Okay, let me just apply one teeny bit of the C3 just right here where I usually, it tends to, it tends to fade away. I don't know why, but it tends to fade away. I don't know why, but we'll give it a try. But we'll see how so I'm gonna apply it with my favorite loose setting powder you guys because I feel like that's the best way to test things out if you have a loose setting powder that works for you try it don't try a loose setting powder just because you don't know if it's the actual loose setting powder or the actual concealer so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let that sink in Just going all over the face now I'm gonna go ahead and set the whole face you guys I'm gonna go ahead and finish the rest of my face off camera and we're gonna go ahead and see how everything else blended so I'll be right back guys while setting my face I'll see you in a little bit this is what my under eyes is looking I am so impressed you guys I feel like it might fade away from here but you guys I always have that issue with my any concealer I feel like that's gonna be matte and plus I usually color correct but I didn't color correct because I wanted to get like a real a real you know what this um, concealer is all about but this like wow ten dollars you guys i feel like this is gonna be my favorite drugstore let's just say it's 12 noon because it's 11 55 there you go it's 11 55 so i'm gonna test where this concealer see how it wears throughout the day okay you guys so here i am in natural lighting um this is like per usual in the restroom um so this is what my under eyes oh baby hair so this is what my under eyes is looking like and honestly i'm kind of shook it's a ten dollar ten dollar concealer so like i said i finished filming at 12 i'm gonna keep you guys posted throughout the day but i'm not mad also at my face at my makeup so let me know if you guys want a tutorial how i do a full coverage everyday look so but yeah Okay guys, it is, as you guys can see, it is 4, 4.38 and I've had this concealer for 4 hours, almost going into 5. This is what my concealer is looking like, not mad at it, it still looks wonderful. It's tiny fading right here, that's my trouble area, but other than that, it's looking fine. Like I said, this is my wrinkles. Uh, 